I would say uh, tips and tricks for getting started in, in 3D models. Check literature, uh, speak to your peers, find the best possible reagents uh, for establishing the models that you would like to establish. A lot of the products that we have are used widely within 3D applications and reagent selection is very important. It's very important that your starting culture of cells is you know, of the highest quality. So if you're using embryonic stem cells to, to generate this, they need to be nicely pluripotent, they need to be in the right sort of state, they need to be able to differentiate as well. So you need to make sure that they're free of mycoplasmas, uh, free of all sorts of other contaminants as well, um, kept at the right density, and also that your, your facilities are set up well enough so that it's a constant environment for the cells. So 5% CO2 continuously, the right sort of temperature over time, you don't get these fluctuations. I always recommend um, to the scientists to try and use an automated plate washer if they can. So that will cut down on a lot of frustration on their, on their part. It's easy to generate 3D hepatic spheroids themselves, but it's, it's a little bit more time consuming and more resource intensive to handle the plate when you're culturing them. The media chain part is the, the most difficult. I think there are different ways in which you can see if your 3D model is working or not. You can see it through a like, microscope and see if the cells have that phenotype, that basically that cell morphology. If you see like an increment in activity that it's a better recapitulating what the human body response will be, then you know that you're going in the right direction. Well, the devil is in the details. It depends how much you incline your pipette, how hard you do it just to resuspend the gastroids. So I think it's important to, to have someone by your side who is very uh, experienced in this technology. Plan in advance what you're going to need and make sure you're fully understanding the time commitment that, that some of these protocols will require. I think if you're new to the field, you can definitely start with uh, industry. They have made the workflow way easier and you can just buy the kit, follow the instructions, and at least it's going to give you like a broad idea of what it's like working with the 3D some models. Mm -hmm.